Yeah, I mean, non-explosive reactive armour is still highly classified but reasonably well understood, which is talking about, you know, sheets of rubber and steel, and the idea is that as the penetrator rod of the AP, AP the pin stabiliser discarding sabre <laughs> round comes in, um, it, it shears the penetrator because it, it flexes, um, and certainly a, um, a harder and more brittle steel in a composite package has some real possibilities. Mm. Uh, but all this... Uh, when the Japanese designed it, they said, right, we, we still need to maintain a light wing, so it's not a all-round defence. They have to go on for just the uh, front 60-degree arc of the tank, so it's frontal arc. Most tanks, anyway. Yeah. Well, <laughs> the Challenger would say it's, it's, uh, it, it's protected all around, thanks, but mm. um, the, uh, it's going for the frontal arc. It is designed to survive a 120mm uh, round to the front arc, so a standard NATO round should not... Uh, it should, it should, the tank should survive a hit from the front by a 120mm NATO round. Um, 